and creating an energy image of the structures under the tomb of Neftusk, detecting multiple major power sources. The servitor's results are reaching us with clarity and volume. They c confirm what I suspected. The tomb complex's generators are beneath the tomb of Neftusk. Vast generatoria of Zenos designed. The power readings are of extreme magnitude. If breached, they will release enough energy to obliterate the tomb valley. Then your plan of Xenocide is still alive. Praise be, Magos, it is. <laughs> Gathalamorians 94-1, when the final analysis is fully calculated, all equations balance against righteous annihilation. Yo, this guy's like, oh hey, I found a thing if we mess with this, it just kills everyone. Praise be. I, I did read that uh, some of these guys have conflicting, like, it, it, there's different endings. And if you do, like, all the quests for one of these people, like, you can't do the others. So it's it's a multi-playthrough multi thing. I never realized that I could click on this thing up here, chat. I never... Oh, man, that could have been more clear. Never realized I could click on that thing up there. All right. We got level two robots. So, still has 15 health, still has one armor. That didn't even change. Single target attack. Can you see our... Wait, oh, charge in a straight line. Push back and immobilize all targets until the end of their turn. Okay, so he has a charge attack now. That's the new thing. All right, um... All right, first off, level ups. Oh, I clicked on the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Level 14, level 13, level 16, 14, 14. All right, so the 16 guy is the highest. He has auto repair. He has auto repair. He has auto repair. Okay, now he has auto repair. Do we change his top? No, it's the same as that. Uh, let's see. Is this the guy that cannot have... Yeah, he can't have a melee weapon or he gets debuffed. What kind of animes do you like? Many different types. This guy has three upgrade slots and I don't know what to put in them. Not really using the energy enhancer that much. I guess I could give him this one, which is better. For the rare time I use it. There. All right. The entire team has health regen now. They all have self-repairing. So that's cool. Uh, we can give him the better axe. Oh, baby. We can give him the better scanner. We've still got some points left over. And this is the lowest level person. Hmm. Give 
give him bonus attack range. Uh, so he's got one slot open, and the backpack stuff isn't used yet. Noise reductor? I do that. Alright, I'm going to save it there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So there's the final boss and two other ones in in this level. One of them is Melob. We found Melob here. I could go do this to get Melob out of the final boss fight. Prime Hermetic and Captrix has identified the location of the sarcophagus of Lord Melob. Enter Melob's tomb and destroy the Royal Vizier. Toma Melob's Skitari Intelligence Report Analyzed. Sarcophagus location, location logged. Confirm probability high value target present. Lord Melob, the Royal Vizier, our analysis suggests he is a cryptic, a Necron keeper of arcane technologies, a particularly offensive creature to the Creed Mechanicus. Target solution complicated by imponderables of Xenos technology. Nothing that will hold you back, Prime Hermeticum. Sup supposition accurate. Fight, flight the arrows and string the blow bows the hunt is on. It's funny that she talks like that. Because it's like they were all, you know, none of them lived in the age with bows and arrows. I'd be surprised if that tech priest ever had to hunt anything. So it's, it's, it's funny that she talks like that. It's, it, it's, it's like she's a, a weeb. <laughs> She's like a tech priest that's like a fan of the archery days. Uh, the Tome of Malab is an abominable place. There's something about it that degrades the Skitari station there. Hallucinations, mental aberrations, it's getting worse. Malab's influence grows as he approaches full reanimation. Target awakening probable, Zenos weaponry certain. If it ends the curse lying on that tome, Malab has to die. Curse concept illogical. Nevertheless, Melib's death is a principal objective for our mission. The hunt is on. Looks like another boss fight type place where there's just lots of single pathways. Hallucinations again. They're getting more and more common and more intense. Melib is trying to defend himself by breaking our spirits before we reach him. The corpse of a Skitari appears floating in midair in the chamber ahead. The dead trooper's body is perforated by several ugly, huge gauss blasts, and he hovers above the ground with arms outstretched. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a sneezing, sneezing fit. Uh, is perforated by several hu huge, ugly gauss blasts, and he hovers above the ground with arms outstretched as if offering a blessing. Pray to the Omniscient to banish the vision. The cohort and tone of verse from the manual of heuristics spiritual, but the prayer has no effect on the vision's presence. One of the troopers spots the almost invisible wires holding up the dead Skitari. This is not a vision at all, but a real corpse strung up by the Necrons for some unknown purpose. The time spent in prayer has been for nothing. Oh, wow. Can't we just enjoy a prayer session? God. Ow! I got hit. Situational analysis. 94% chance hallucination. Necron mind-altering technology equals probable. The area ahead appears to exist in two realities at once. The oppressive tomb of Malab and a grotesque channel landscape of heaped-up human bodies beneath clouds of carrion birds. Fumigate. Purify. Stop and fumigate the area with sacred incense to banish the corruption. 
Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, we're, we're making all the wrong choices. Does joy exist in this universe? Uh, I think that word is Daka. Some Blackstone. More hallucinations. An enemy in front of me I can shoot, but when they get into your mind. Dozens of tiny mouths open on the flesh of one of the troopers, gibber, gibbering and cackling as they pronounce the imminent doom of every human on Silva Tenebris. Use ritual and prayer to banish the corruption from the afflicted trooper. Hey, it worked! The cohort kneel around the trooper and begin the Griffonian invocation, calling upon the Omnisci to banish the Xenos influence. With a concerted scream, the mouths disappear as the hallucination is banished. Alright, got some CP. Alarm level 3. Fall into the mortal threat of the enemy versus Fulminatus 59. The broken in body can blame the bullet or the sword, but the broken in mind have all creation to curse. In the chamber ahead lies a Skitari trooper, lying curled up on the tomb floor. Though apparently unhurt, the trooper is all but comatose and barely responds to the tech priest's presence. Leave the trooper be and pass the location to other units. Minus five awakening. The cohort relays the down trooper's position to nearby Skitari. They move on rapidly and soon hear the troopers picked up by a passing patrol, which is also able to fend off some Necron warriors who are shadowing the cohort as they passed. Cool. Boss time. In the very heart of Melib's tomb is an immense sarcophagus of polished black stone covered in dense hieroglyphics like a vast monument to the profane knowledge of the Necrons. The baleful influence of the Royal Vizier weighs heavy, as if the planet's gravity suddenly increases around Melob's burial place. High value target location probable. Code Venator in effect. The prey will turn at the bane. New input device detected. Greatly desire. Hieroglyphic upload linguistic sample slash full artifact survey. No, Scabella. This is no goal here save the destruction of the Xenos. The sarcophagus opens and the great dark form of Royal Vizier Melob emerges accompanied by a wave of maddening screech data. Did you think yeah, you spirit. enter this place of wisdom without my knowing? I have watched you since you dared breach the orbit of our world. I have heard every footstep you made while desecrating our tombs. I have felt every injury done to our legions. The time has come for your impudence to be repaid. I value target confirmed. Let's slip the hounds of logic. These stars were ours before the first of you drew breath. They still are. And when the last of you is gone, they forever will be. All right. Pause time. What the heck? He's just down here head banging, and then there's just this massive illusion behind him. What is going on? Destroy the target. So, I could totally drop a robot, like, way up here. 
and have it go for the vizier. I don't know if the robot could solo the vizier though while we're all like miles away. Have you ever thought about playing Star Wars Old Republic MMO? Um, I played a Star Wars MMO for a little bit, but did not really like it. To, to, hold on, to, um, I can't pause the game during some, their turn, apparently. So, the Star Wars MMO. Um, I played it for a bit on free-to-play, and then, and I, tr I tried it out. And the experience I had with it was that <sighs> I got to the point where I filled my action bar with the skills and I needed more action bars. So just like in World of Warcraft, I went to the interface options to add another action bar and just to enable it. And it told me additional action bars were uh, $4.99. They, they, they charged per action bar. So I was like, oh, okay, so I uninstalled it. He was completely unbuffed for all that. Hold on, delay turn. Delay turn. Delay turn. Delay turn. There it is. Call a unit somewhere instantly on the map. All right, this is risky, but let's see what happens. I can't give him a 100% crit chance because he's too far for the canister. here and repair the guy with the lowest health. Delay turn until we buff you. Uh, I can fit 90% of my max level characters in uh, three action bars. Yeah, I don't need 10. Well, I, I was just trying to turn on a second one at the time. But... It is what it is. Free Canticle. Interesting. When I went to Free Canticle, the, the one for the cog points was still there, even though I'd already used it. I was surprised by that. Not the steel I was craving. All right, he's down.
Okay, that thing is dead. Is there anything to scan on this map, or is it all just boss fight stuff? I think it's all just boss fight stuff. Sadly, he can't go through that. Heal him. There's truly nothing else I can do right now. Monk, I saw Dragon Age Origins in your playlist. Have you done Dragon Age Inquisition? Yes, fantastic game. It was before I was a streamer. Um, but yeah, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, and Dragon Age Inquisitions. I very much enjoyed all of them. Might be willing to... I, there was a Dragon Age Inquisition DLC that I never played. I might be up for doing uh, doing it again at some point, but at the moment, I have not. Scanner. Nothing else I can really do right now. Alright, so. I'm limited on what buffs I can give this guy. However, I have given him quite a few. What? The moment I told him to move. Oh no! <laughs> He's got guards! The boss has guards. That's not good. Shoot, they're positioned in a way that it's really difficult to hit the boss. Hail Mary here. So first, knock him backward. Oh, why isn't it working? Can he not charge up the stairs? All right, there's that. Next attack does plus eight damage. It didn't crit. Uh, I couldn't give him. It had 75% chance to crit, and it did not crit. Seven. Man, neither of those crit with 75% chance. If either of those had crit, he might have been dead. We might have killed the boss in one volley of attacks. All right, armor up. I don't know if he'll survive another round because he's going to get hit by those three. Unless he goes first. No, that's the other bot. No such luck. Oh, God, there's more. But wait, there's more. Well, this is uh, the backup plan coming up the hill right here. Got a critical there. That's good. Is he out of movement? I think he is. Jetpack guy comes down toward us. Repair this Castellan. Essentially, this squad making their way up is just like backup in case the guy I sent way ahead uh, doesn't make it. Zero energy armor, okay. Serpenta.
Uh, all troops in range, fire on that guy. Alright, they're gone. This guy's gonna shoot my robot in the robot! No! Three damage. Did he... I think he took some of my cog points away. I didn't realize that at first. Finish off this guy. Finish off this guy. And full heal all troops, which will uh, hit the robot at the other end of the map. We've got a noise reductor. We can scan somebody. I like the noises that those gizmos make, the clickety-clacks. Satisfying. And got another noise reductor for this guy. Can fill the cognition gauge. Jetpack. Critical five. This guy's blocked by the wall. Guaranteed crit on that guy. We'll empty the pistols into this person. And I, I, I feel the need to get him past this wall because it might come back up on the start of the next turn. Plus two damage to all troops next attack, which will buff the dude at the other end of the map. Let's see if this ends the mission. Achievement unlocked of a vivisected vizier. <laughs> he might have had so many more of those like trap spots where like as you approach him, like it spawns more troops, and I just skipped him. Infinite shame. All I have collected in the hands of thee. Just yeeted a robot to the other end of the map for the win.